As women, black women, the following adjectives are always used to describe us. Strong, mama bear, head of household, provider, warrior queen or princess. For some, they embrace these titles and wear it with pride. And for others like myself, it's a burden because there is an expectation that society has and holds us to. As black women, we aren't a monolith. However, there is a refusal to see us as anything but. Why is that? Have you ever wondered why black women are the way they are? For the majority of us, growing up, we weren't allowed to be anything but what I described. If there was any deviation from the predestined script, you were harassed and called names by your own. A space to just exist as a little girl who loves pink and girly things was never created for most of us and we adapted to our environment. The men who were around didn't assume the role of protector or provider, so we were left to do it ourselves. Then, after getting that degree or that career that pays the bills, you are then denigrated and disparaged by these same men who then say you are too masculine when they never allowed you to be feminine. As little girls, the first man you look to as an example of what a husband or male partner should be is your father. But what do you do when that figure abandons that role just to save himself? Take a look at this video. Do you think this little girl will ever be the same? Knowing that her father left her to be ravaged by a dog only to save himself? Some of you will place the blame on the owner, saying she should have secured the gate or fence, which is true. But this girl's father should have secured his daughter. In society nowadays, single mothers get blamed for being just that, a single mother, when they are the ones that stayed. A successful, driven, and accomplished single woman, who may be at a particular age, receives scrutiny because she has no children or husband. And yet, we are to hear all these things, have these traumatic experiences, and just show up in the world strong, but not too strong, expressive, but not too passionately, love, but do so indiscriminately and be true to those same men who abandon us and call it preference. Be educated, but not at the expense of the male figure in the room. Be submissive, along with being a 50-50 partner in a relationship. Be sexually liberated, but don't be a Jezebel, and so on and so on. And let's not forget, give and expect nothing in return because that is the role of the black woman, the giver and not the receiver because if you do, then you're a gold digger. This has been ingrained in us to be the provider, to be the protector, to be the savior of these men, that we are willing to sacrifice anything and everything for them. 
like in the case of this woman, giving her kidney to a friend who then turned out to be a boyfriend. Yes, you heard me right. This woman decided to give her kidney to a man named Stitch who sought her out, dressed her when she was on a hit show, and then after the friendship, tells her he needs a kidney, and then she gives him her kidney and says she was willing to even if it didn't work out. Breakable, yes, unshakable. Now, most of you are going to say that it's romantic and that this is a beautiful love story. And I truly hope that it works out in the end. But do you honestly think that if the roles were reversed, he would do this for her? There is a stark difference with black women and our male counterparts. At any moment, we are literally willing to save society. Maybe because it's in our DNA or it's a need to be validated and accepted. But when it comes to most of the men in our community, saving themselves is numero uno, even at the cost of their daughter's life. Now, I'm sure this commentary has triggered some of you, and I understand, but there is one thing that needs to be understood. Opinions aren't judgments, and we won't agree at all times. Also, this is a space where I can, and you as well, express your feelings, thoughts, and opinions without fear of retribution, so feel free to do so in the comment section. You see, this is a wake-up call to some to start putting yourselves first. Stop volunteering as tribute because in the end, you will be the one left with one kidney, a broken heart, and a trampled on spirit. Ask George Lopez's wife. These are just my thoughts. And before you ask, yes, I was raised with a loving father and brothers who are the examples of what men should be. Comment below your opinion. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Like and share. Also, turn on your notification and stay tuned for more. And I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.